Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I just got home a few minutes ago from the AFSP Suicide Prevention Walk. I had such a good time. It was really, it's just a really, really fun event. And you would think something that's for suicide awareness would be like such a Debbie Downer thing. And it definitely has that connotation in terms of, obviously it's a very serious subject and a lot of people are, are personally impacted by the loss of loved ones to suicide. So I am not by any means minimizing that. And I just realized I have like a leaf in my screen here, but whatever. It, looks fine <laughs> but anyway um so i do not by any means need to minimize that but it's actually a really joyous event too because we go and we celebrate those of us who didn't make that choice or who possibly made the choice to make an attempt or consider it and chose otherwise or you know did not succeed and that's obviously something to celebrate. So I'm really, really, really just glad that I got to do that. This is the first time in the times that I've been participating with AFSP walks that they didn't out of the darkness walk in Nassau County. They did in the past, but it's been a while. <clears throat> so I really enjoyed myself. And then on the way home, I stopped really quickly at Walmart because why not? What does one do after <laughs> walking for charity? I just, I love looking in the clearance aisle. I figured it's been a few weeks since Easter, but you know what? For shits and giggles, I'll look and see if there's any Easter clearance left. And there wasn't. But there was Christmas clearance. I'm almost positive that this is left over from Christmas. I was so stoked to find this set. The out of the box, the out of the box, the outside of the box is kind of dirty and scuzzy. But I found this ginormous makeup kit. It is huge. There is so much stuff. 37 pieces in it. And it was originally $9.88, you guys. It was a dollar. I mean, how could I not buy this? If for no other reason than the brushes alone, they're like mermaid, unicorn, rainbow goodness. And then you get, let's see what the entire contents are. You get 12 eyeshadows. So the eyeshadows are in these two little packs. And some of them look really shimmery. And I'm super into like shimmery eyeshadow. As you can see by my face with no makeup on it right now. But I really like shimmery eyeshadows. I can actually take the items out of the package. And let you see since this box is a hot mess anyway. But um, yes, yeah, so you get two packs. I've never heard of this brand Pink before. I don't know if it's a Walmart like proprietary brand or what. Like, it's not super well made, the packaging. Like, this plastic is, well, it sort of stays shut. But you get these six really pretty colors. I'm not going to swatch, but there's some shimmers, and there's actually ones that look like they have a little bit of glitter to them. They're really, really pretty. Distributed by Walmart Inc. Okay, so Pink Viva, actually, is what it says, is a proprietary Walmart brand. But seriously, that's adorable for a dollar. So you get two little eyeshadow palettes, and this one is more semi, like, I guess earth tone-ish, although not really. They're really, really pretty colors too. And I would probably rock any of these depending on the occasion, but you can see like the ones on the bottom are kind of glittery and the ones on the top are more shimmers, but they're so, so, so pretty. And yeah, does this snap shut? Not well, but again, who cares? <laughs> it was a dollar for the whole thing. Then you get one blush, which is right here. And there's a train. I don't wear blush often, but on the occasion that I might, this would probably be a color that I would be able to get away with, possibly. It's a little dark for my complexion, but maybe in the summertime, who knows, if I apply it with a light hand, it might work. So that's the little blush, and that does actually snap shut. Then you get one mascara, which is, let's see. Oh, one of these is a liquid eyeliner. Okay. I was wondering what these two tubes at the bottom were. This one is the mascara. And I don't see a color, but I would assume it's probably black. I don't wear mascara often either, but it's cute. I mean, in the event that I want it, again, you know, it's super tiny and convenient to carry in my purse. Or, you know, even like a little wristlet you could put stuff that size. So a little mascara. And then you get a liquid eyeliner, which I would suck at if I even attempted but I'm sure I could pass it on to someone who does like cat eye looks and stuff and it is again just black but that's just super cute I don't know if this is made to be I mean I, I wouldn't imagine it's made for kids because you know some of these colors are pretty dark for a kid but um 
yeah, I thought it was worth a buck for sure. Um, then you get two lip glosses, which are here at the bottom. I don't know if these are going to have colors to them or if they'll just come out basically glittery and pretty clear. I will be happy to swatch anything if you guys want me to. None of these have color names on them, but you get the more, um, I guess that's like a raspberry pink and then like the bubblegum pink and they both have a little bit of glitter, like hollow glitter, which hopefully you can kind of see. I just love the packaging too. Like everything hollow is has my heart. Then you get, it says two lip glosses again, which, okay, so these are the, um, liquid lip glosses that I'm assuming will have doe foot applicators and again you get like a raspberry pink and then like a bubblegummy pink and look at the cute lens with those pink hollowy hearts so cute yep little doe foot applicators again just let me know if you want me to swatch any of these things and I can do that in a separate video I just don't want it to be super long then you get 12 lip gloss solids which these are pretty cool in and of themselves. I just think that's really neat. Oh, does this even have a magnetic closure? Holy cow. Now we're going high class, but look at how cute that little palette of lip glosses is. And you get a really nice variety of shades. I don't know how pigmented they'll be, but there's some sparkle in some of those as well. And the rest that are not sparkly, mostly are shimmery. There's a couple creamy ones that don't look like they have shimmer or sparkle. Again, the packaging alone and the fact that it's got a magnetic closure, that's pretty badass. And then you get the five brushes and one sponge applicator. So you get this big poofy brush, which I would assume would be for your blush. Oh my gosh, that's really soft. I did not expect this to be so soft. And again, it's got these beautiful like mermaid scales with the holographic accents on it and the pastel like gradient look. So pretty. And then you've got a little... Oops, I guess this would be an eyeshadow brush and it's angled and then you get an even more angled eyeshadow brush here so you can compare the two this one's more rounded and then this one is just really like more of a sharp angle but you hopefully can see the difference with those and then you get the brow brush which I guess you could also yeah that's this would be for your lashes I guess and this for your brows or whatever I don't use brushes or combs on my lashes. I just, I do like a good eyebrow brush though because my eyebrows are pretty unruly most of the time. And then you get these two little applicators here where you just get the little sponge one and the little just foofy pink one like that. So all in all, for a dollar, seriously, I think this was a definite score. I Like I said, even for the brushes alone, it would have been worth a dollar for me. But to get all of this other stuff, two eyeshadow palettes, a lip gloss palette, two squeezy lip glosses, two, I guess, tubey lip glosses, a blush and a mascara and a liquid eyeliner. How many items is that in all? What did I say? 37 items? Come on, really? For a dollar? That's ridiculous. That's less than three cents an item. <laughs> Come on, how could you beat that? So I couldn't help myself. And then the only other item I bought, I found these little sticky tabs. I liked that they were like watercolor and I thought these would be fun for my junk journal. I don't really do planner per se. Like I do have a little planner that I write, you know, stuff in like usually after the fact. Occasionally I'll put appointments and advance plans, but usually I use more of a diary of what I've done during the day. But you get two sheets of these tabby ones and then two sheets of these that are like kind of sideways wide teardrops, I guess. And then the little words there, okay, OMG, hi, bye, no, yes, yay, and aw, and then the ones that are just blank. So I just thought for a quarter, which is what this came to, I don't know what the original price was, there isn't one on here. How can you go wrong with four sheets of these? These will just be really fun to use in my junk journal. So all in all, with tax, my total came to a big whopping dollar and 36 cents, and I had a Walmart gift card, so even better so it technically was all free to me so i hope you guys and hope you guys enjoyed this video i can speak really well sorry my hair i i'm kind of loving my laura ingles braids but i'm not loving this like free style crazy hot mess on top of my head so i apologize now i'm like slicking it down and making myself look like alfalfa and i'm dating myself if you guys don't know alfalfa google 
<laughs> little rascals, alpha, alpha. I feel like a little alpha, alpha-ish or whatever, but, um, but I had a really good day. And after I went to Walmart, I went to IHOP because I got my anniversary coupon for a free stack of pancakes. I said, screw it. I'm going to go in and treat myself to some free pancakes. I got a glass of water with lemon. So it literally cost me nothing but the tip. And I don't often dine alone in table service restaurants, but I was like, screw it. Hubby's at work. Mom's at work. I'm doing my own thing. I'm starving from the walk. I'm just going to go and eat some damn pancakes. Who cares, you know? So I had fun doing that too. And now I'm going to go inside, probably take a shower, and maybe do some writing after I end up doing my stupid Facebook games because they always take priority over, like, actual important stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't watch my video prior to this one, I hope that you will, please. That's the one that I shot just after the walk. There's some really good information on there from some wonderful amazing people new and old friends that volunteer for AFSP which is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention they give some great resources especially Anne shout out to my girl Anne who is a new friend and I think she's awesome and of course shout out to Jackie my aka my monkin who introduced me to Anne and Veronica and all and my friend Beth who works with me at, worked with me oh god I can't believe I'm saying that in past tense at Pets for Love will work with me at Pets for Love again when we get our new location but we just had a really good time together um, I met this awesome girl Jenny who walked with Veronica and Beth and I and we just really had a great 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 time so shout out to Jenny who probably won't see this because she doesn't do social media but maybe she'll watch this I don't know and shout out to honestly everybody that was there it was a smaller walk it was the first time like I said they've done one in Nassau County the county in which I live for quite a long time the one that they're going to be doing in October is a much bigger scale event and that is the one where if you would like to make a donation please check the drop box that link is open and available now you can donate anytime between now and the walk October 27th even if you want to give a dollar I would be so grateful for that Obviously, I'm going to set my fundraising goal way higher. The highest I think I've ever raised was roughly, I want to say, just over $500, which was mind-boggling. I never, never in a million years expected that. That was the first walk I did, which was October of 2017. Then I did one last year, also in October, and I ended up raising uh, a little over 250, which again was amazing. And for today's walk, I ended up raising 100, and then I cut myself off there because I didn't want people to feel like, oh my God, I'm constantly begging you guys for money for charities. But the fact is that these are organizations that mean the world to me. AFSP and Pets for Love have my heart. I will shout from the rooftops to, to raise money for them because they both are such worthy causes. So if you wish to donate to either of those causes, I will love you forever. I'll love you forever, even if you don't, but I'll love you maybe a little bit extra. I'll love you 3,000, and I'm not saying where that comes from if you don't know, but I love you 3,000. Maybe I love you 3001 if you donate, but <laughs> if you feel the need or you feel that your heart leads you in that direction, I would be most grateful. I recognize that not everyone can afford to do that. So just sharing my posts on social media definitely helps as well. But anyway, that is my Walmart haul and my little vloggy summary of my day thus far. I'm going to head in the house now, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Of course, the rain that came during the walk is completely gone and the skies are clear when I'm going to be going inside the house. Story of my life. Murphy's Law. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.